Joe just potentially committed a criminal offense, which is called warism. Hi guys, today I'm going to watch you. Today I'm going to react to this popular Netflix series called You. Uh, let me give you some background information about this show as well. Joe, he's a bookstore manager who has uh, in, an intense obsession with a girl called uh, Back. Basically, throughout the whole series, Joe has committed many criminal offenses. So that I think it's interesting for me to uh, look at this whole thing from a lawyer's or a legal professional's perspective. For those who are new to this channel, I am a future trainee solicitor at Baker McKenzie's London office. But I also passed uh, the New York bar exam, so I'm awaiting admission as a New York attorney as well. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to analyze it under the English law, which is probably better for me. Well, hello there. Who are you? Based on your vibe, student. And you murmur your first word to me. Hello. Do you work here? Guilty. Can I help you find something? Paula Fox? It's a good choice. Mm, I feel weirdly validated. <laughs> Follow me. Can see some chemistry right there. You have enough cash to cover this, but you want me to know your name. Everyone just calls me Beck. And you're Joe. Aren't you gonna tell me to have a nice day? You have a nice day, Beck. A guy needs to protect himself. I had to be sure you're safe. And your name was a glorious place to start. Not a lot of Guinevere Becks. And there you were. Every account set to public, you want to be seen, heard, known. Being a creep doesn't necessarily mean that you're a criminal. Anything, the fact that you didn't share me with your followers only confirms we really connected. The next thing our little friend the internet gave me was your address. That's a bit too much. Benjamin J. Ashby, the third. Oh, there's three of them. Greenwich born, boarding school bred. See, this is why I do my research. You fall for the wrong men. Bad men. You let them in. You let them hurt you. Joe just potentially committed a criminal offense, which is called warism. Basically, it means watching people in their private moments without their consent. Under Section 67 of the Sexual Offenses Act 2003, a person commits an offense if, for the purpose of obtaining his sexual gratification, he observes another person doing a private act, and he knows that the other person does not consent to being observed looking through the window or pit-hole at someone having sexual intercourse falls within the scope of this session and it constitutes voyeurism. Our day starts at the ass crack of dawn. I know from your posted schedule that you teach a 6.30 class called Get Up and Flow. You caress the sweaty backs of bulimic, dead-eyed, real mommies of Soho. I'm loving your form today, Tasha. Offering smiles and lies of encouragement. By 10, you're at campus to TA a romantics class and play Vanna White to some shirt. So, guys, here, there's a potential offense of stalking. Session 2A of the Protection from Harassment Act prohibits a person from pursuing a course of conduct that amounts to stalking. A course of conduct means at least two or more incidents of stalking. Moreover, Section 2A Subsection 3 lists examples of behaviors associated with stalkings. Some of those applicable to this scenario to Joe are following a person, loitering in public or private place, watching or spying on a person. So all of this happened in this scenario. However, one practical matter, one potential problem here is that back actually didn't realize at all she was being watched and followed by Joe. Fun fact, did you know the law requires gas leaks to be investigated? I've been learning a lot since I met you. Hey Beck, you left the door open again. I, I thought we said we weren't gonna do that anymore. I was careful to call the gas company on a day when you had a full schedule. I wouldn't want to scare you. Hey, is Beck here? Nope, super let me in. Someone reported a leak. Right, yeah, she mentioned that. Is everything okay? Yeah. 
All clear. Tell your girlfriend there's no leak. I'm done, so. Okay, thanks. Well, I can just lock up. I just need to know who you really are. I'll clean for us. And you won't eat all this frozen shit. I'll cook for you every day. I promise. Gus. I'll even do your laundry. And take care of your favorite books. Okay, so here Joe potentially committed the offense of burglary. The offense of burglary is defined by section 9, subsection 1 of the theft act. A person is guilty of burglary if after he enters any building or part of a building as a trespasser, he steals or attempts to steal anything in that building. And here, Joe is considered as a trespasser because he enters the house without the occupier Back's permission. And afterwards, he stole Back's underwear, which is not only creepy, but also criminal in nature. Ah, there it is. No matter how hard you fight me, I will always make sure you password protect your devices. Need to see you tonight. Well, if I can, babe, working late. And this is actually another behavior associated with the, the stalking offense I discussed before, which is monitoring the use by a person of the internet, email, or other form of electronic communication. This will be part of the course of conduct that constitute the stalking offense as well. Men like Benji, what all those have in common is they will never love you back. Why don't you give everything? It's crazy the lengths we go. We're, we're a lot alike, Beck. Last of the true romantics. The second luckiest thing this week happened. Could it really be? It feels like I'm dreaming. And you're too wasted to be standing so close to the tracks. Beck, Beck, forget Benji. And to hell with that phone. Oh. This is Joe. He literally saved my life tonight. Wait, uh, maybe I can get your info. Yeah. Um... Shit. My phone. I must have dropped it in the subway. Oh. Thank you. Here's what I learned this week. You are special. You're talented. You're passionate. You're smart. Except in the ways you are really not, like not locking your phone. Okay, there's another uh, potential criminal offense of theft. It's defined under the Theft Act in England. Uh, basically, it happens when a person dishonestly appropriates a property belonging to another. And that person intends to permanently deprive the victim of that property. And here it's very unlikely that Joe is gonna give the phone back to her. So it's likely that Joe has committed uh, the offense of theft. And it's probably the le one of the least serious offenses Joe has committed. Dear Benji, heard about your soda. Am interested in including you on my fall list of must tries. Would love to discuss, perhaps even try some. Jeff Pavenzi. That's the dude you're always retweeting? It's the culture guy from New York Magazine. Hit him back, bro. Hey. Hey, man. Jeff. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Have, have you been here before? It's, uh, not a lot of people know about it yet. It's, it's an incredible after hour. It's very exclusive. Yeah, I've been here a couple of times. Yeah? Oh, hmm. well, good. So you'll feel right at home, then. Please, after you. All right. Let's 
just down to the left. Hey, man, I'm so Joe just potentially committed another crime of kidnapping. Basically, kidnapping involves the taking or carrying away of another person by force or by fraud without the consent of that person and without any other lawful excuses. Also, the way in which the offender causes the victim to move from one place to another place does not necessarily need to involve any use of force. Therefore, it's enough if the offender induced the victim to make that journey by fraud. So basically, Joe here pretended to be a famous guy from the New York magazines and then test Benji about a business opportunity so that he induced Benji to come to the basement. That potentially constitutes a taking away of another person and therefore it constitutes kidnapping. Hey man, I'm thinking maybe So that's obviously a crime. Normally speaking, when you use a weapon and then cause serious injury to another person, it constitutes a very serious assault. Section 18 of the Offenses Against the Person Act creates offenses of wounding and causing grievous bloody harm to another person. And the offender also have need to have the intention to create such harm. The wording grievous bloody harm uh, simply means serious bloody harm. And here it's pretty obvious because Joe literally launched a planned attack on Benji by using a hammer and almost knocked his hat off. I assume he's still alive here. Also, given that this is a planned attack, so Joe had the full intention to cause such serious bodily harm. And also, this Session 18 offense carries the maximum punishment of life imprisonment. It's probably the most serious form of assault, short of attempted murder. Hell, maybe I'm just a fool in love. But I'm right about you. And I'm going to help you get the life you deserve. I also want to add that uh, there's no attempted murder here by Joe because to commit attempted murder, there must be an intention to actually kill another person. Here, Joe just actually knocked Benji out by the hammer, by using the hammer. He actually didn't intend to kill him, at least not now in this episode. So, I would say there's no attempted murder in this case. I'm going to help you get the life you deserve back. That's a potential offense of false imprisonment as well. Basically, false imprisonment is a common law offense involving the unlawful and intentional detention of another person against his will. Locking Benji in a cage without his consent is quite obviously a false imprisonment. And also, Joe has no authority to do so. He is not a police officer or any other law enforcement officer. He's just a crazy dude. So guys, this is basically episode one of you. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Let me know whether you love this kind of video. Although I'm not like an expert in criminal law, I do find it interesting so that I want to share with you guys my thoughts on this. Leave your comment down below, subscribe to my channel for more content as well. And I hope some of you guys will feel a little bit more relaxed after watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.